Okay, what I'm going to uh, demonstrate here is how to set up a, a simple uh, certificate-based reward system. So a teacher can fill in a uh, Google form and then magically in perhaps the register the next day um, a certificate is there waiting for the student to be awarded by their form tutor or maybe emailed home or posted home depending on what you want to do. So I'm doing this purely as a test setup here. So I'm logged on as my test student and I've created a folder in this user's Google Drive called Science Rewards. It could be any subject of course, I just happen to be a science teacher so I did it for science but it doesn't really matter. So in that folder I've created a folder called Certificate Store. That's where all the certificates are going to end up and be kept on a permanent basis. So if we're going to send out certificates to people the first thing we need to do is create um, a certificate. So I'm just going to create a Google document and I'm going to um, call it Science Certificate Template and I'm going to change the page setup a bit because I want this to be uh, A5 not A4 I want to be landscape and I'm just going to knock the page border down a bit 2.5 of a centimeter just because I don't want much of a border on this and we'll be putting a number of tables into it so there we go um, I'm going to start by putting a one by one table into there and I'm going to format this table table properties I'm going to give it a prettier color let's have purple being its Wheatley Park School I'm going to whack the border size right up Okay, and I'm also now going to put in another table, this time 3x3, three three, but the design can be whatever you want, of course. Um, so it's going to be Science Award, perhaps so you can spell it right. Uh, we'll put that center, we'll make it a little bit bigger. I'll do, make it bold. In here, Crack up the research tools, so let's just put in science. Let's get a couple of pictures. Okay, that's quite a nice one. So I'll put that image in there. Uh, I don't want the references in there. And uh, let's have an atom. Uh, that one will do. I don't want the reference in there. Let's centralize that one. Centralize that one. I'm going to make these a bit smaller because they take up too much room at the moment. I'm down to about there. Maybe a little bit smaller, even. I'll do. Okay, so what we need to do now is put in. Um, information that's going to go into our certificates. First of all it might be the name and these are done via merge fields and the standard merge field is less than on equal signs doubled up so a couple of those I'm going to put for name space um, surname and uh, we'll put something like as a Excellence in. Of course, the wording of this can be whatever you want. And I'm just going to put in something I'm going to call award area. And I'm going to allow a teacher to make a comment if they want to. I have to. Actually, we've got two of those. And then. Um, we want to know who's given the award, so by put the teacher's name in that, and then probably a good idea to know when it was awarded as well, so we'll put in a date as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it, other than I'm going to centralize that and I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Let's go for 24 point. A bit bigger, maybe. Thirty. I'll do. 
Okay, we may need to tweak that. Um, I might put a space in there. Okay, so that will do, and you can um, tweak it as much as you want. I'm going to take out the borders of that table as well. Um, okay, so we've got a basic certificate there. That's only taken a moment or two to make, so we'll close that down now. We won't need to go back to that again, but we've got our certificate there. The next thing we need to do is create the form for the teachers to submit um, the information for the award. So I'm going to call this um, Award Science Award Science Certificate. And at this point it's probably a good idea if I've got that open to just refer back to because I'll need to get these bits of information on the form. So, um, uh, we'll do this nice and simple. Student forename and we'll have text and it's a required question. And we'll have a surname Text that's going to be a required question, and then I item award area. This is going to be uh, multiple choice, and this is where you or it could be a drop down menu, whatever it doesn't matter. Let's have uh, choose from the list actually, and we'll have. Um, Practical work being its science, um, we could have um, per perseverance, which I spelt wrong. Never mind. There we go. Perseverance and um, what we could have problem solving. You have whatever things you want to award um, certificates based on. You can have as many as you want. That's a required question because we need to answer that. And then we add an item and we're going to have commons. And this is going to be text. In fact, uh, we'll have this as paragraph text. We don't want it to be very long though. So we'll have a maximum character count and we'll have, I don't know. Uh, sake of arguments, 20 characters. What you'd have to do is just test a few long names with your certificate and how long this is to make sure your certificate doesn't go on to two pages. Now I'm not going to make that a required question because we don't necessarily want a comment but it's there as an option. And then we'll add another one which is um, teacher name and uh, this is going to choose from a list um, and you'd put for your particular faculty the teacher names as you want them to appear so I'm just going to put teacher one and as many as you've got teacher two teacher three and you can always come back and edit this that's a required question we're nearly done now Add an item, and we want to put in a date stamp, so we can choose a date, and uh, we probably don't want the year, and we don't want the time, so we just want the month and the day, and that's a required question. Now you could use the date stamp from the form for this, but that includes everything, and it's very long, so you'd have to use an additional script to pull out the pieces that you wanted to pull out, which is an option if you wanted to go that far. So that's done. Okay, so that's the basic form completed. Um, and what we're going to do now is um, uh, we're going to have to have a look at the responses. Let's just have a look at the uh, form first of all. 
So this is what the teacher is going to fill in and when they click on submit the certificate it's going to be um, generated. Okay, so what we need to do is um, choose response destination and uh, a new spreadsheet is what we want, so we'll create that. So it's setting up the spreadsheet and then we can click on view responses. There won't be any yet, so we've got our spreadsheet there. I'm going to just make sure this is in the right place. We're going to move to folder. It's in Science Rewards. Marvellous. So what we've got to do now is add a script that's going to do the um, emailing of certificates out. So we go to Tools, Script Gallery, Autocrat, and what the UK one, or the English one should I say, Install. Continue. Sometimes you have to refresh this page, Control R to refresh it to get the um, authorization thing to appear like I have to do there. But press Control R a couple of times and uh, you'll get there. Now it's done. And close all that and we have to set up Autocrat and it's fairly simple to s install and set up so we just run it and first of all we're going to choose a template from our drive so I'm going to choose that certificate there which I've just created so that's where the information is going to go and uh, that's fine so I'm going to save those settings Okay, now it's asking me where do I want to get the data from. Now I've only got one tab in this spreadsheet at the moment called Form Responses, so that's my only option. So I click on Save that. And you'll see you get this additional column appearing, and you haven't got to touch that. At this point you can just click on Submit. And then what you've got to do is choose which one of these headings here maps to the things on your certificate. So Forename is going to go to um, student forename, surname is going to surname, ward area, award area, comment, uh, comments, teacher, uh, where's teacher name at, there we are, and date is going to go to date. So you can basically choose the document tags and the sheet header tags and match them up however you want. So they don't have to be exactly the same. You can choose. So save mappings and then you've got to choose how you're going to merge the information. So um, we're going to save merge file to doc. So this is going to create the certificate. I'm going to select that folder. So you can select any folder that's within the folder that you've got um, this form. So certificate store file naming convention, well I'm going to call them science certificate 4 and then you can paste in um, these fields here student forename and we'll have a uh, surname so each of the files which is created will be personalized Okay. You can create it as a Google Doc or PDF, depending on what you want to do with it. If you're emailing out to external people, you might want a PDF. I'm going to keep it as a Google Doc for now. Um, I'm going to save a link in the spreadsheet, so I can just look in here and click to any of them. I'm going to email the document out as well. And um, recipient email could be the student, so they could get the certificate. Um, in my case, the way we're going to set this up is it's going to be an, an admin member of staff who gets these 
prints them and possibly forwards them on to parents. But just for the purposes of um, this demonstration, we'll make it test student at wheelypark.org. Um, test certificate. So you give your email a subject. Um, I'll just say to just testing, but you can have anything in there. You could say you've received a certificate, please look at the attachment or something like that. And you can choose the attachment type, so a PDF, um, recipient view only by Google Docs, or editable by Google Docs. So I'm going to do by view only by Google Docs. I'm also going to select trigger merge on form submit. So when a teacher submits a form, that automatically generates a certificate and sends it on down the line to the people who are going to do stuff with it. So I think that's probably it. And you'll see you get a few more columns produced. And then it'll ask you, do you want to um, test it now? I'm just going to keep my settings. And basically we're done. So there's our live form. Um, so I'll just put in somebody's name. An imaginary student called Robert Fred, who's very good at problem solving and uh, solved a hard problem. Teacher name number one. Oh, I've gone over my maximum number of characters. So I probably would need to increase that. Puzzle. And what's the date today? It's uh, October the uh, 26th. That's it. That's all the teacher has to do to create a certificate. And if we have a look at what's going on in the form, you'll see that it's doing stuff. And we've got a link. If we look in the user's drive in certificate saw, you'll find there's a certificate now. And um, if we look in this user's email, you'll see that they've received this notification and uh, signed certificate Robert Fred and there we go there's Robert's certificate and um, that's about it so once you've done that um, you probably did it a lot quicker than I did it there uh, because you don't have to talk about it um, you've created a basic certificate system that will just work from now on and you don't have to do anything to it to maintain it really and you will have all your certificates and who's received the award and who's um, sent that award summarized in here and you can do all sorts of statistical analysis with that if you want to. Okay I hope that's sort of useful um, and it's a way you can use the autocrat script.